like she's just on good terms with him and she okay she wants to post yeah. a throwback photo like i don't really think there was anything too crazy about that what do you think i know i'm with you dude i honestly think she's just messing with us like i, I think she just hears the stories here's the rumors and she's like you know yeah. i'm just gonna give them something else to talk about will they won't they and people are so torn Welcome to Holly Scoops Moments of the Week. I am Gabrielle Valenson. And I'm Monsi Bolano. So excited to be here with you, girl. We get to talk about the top five videos of the week. So you guys sit back, relax. We're going to recap the best five videos this past week. Yes, Monsi. I'm so happy you're here joining me again. And we are reading some of the viewers' comments. So these are the stories that had everyone talking this week. So let's get started with the video coming in at number five. We have Chloe clapping back. She is addressing pregnancy rumors once again. Chloe was Cleopatra for Halloween while Tristan was Mark Antony and True was their little royal highness. Um, she posted some pictures to Instagram from Halloween and a fan tweeted, quote, I don't care, I'm still convinced Khloe Kardashian is going to tell us in a couple months that she's pregnant. But Khloe wasn't having it, Monsi, and she didn't want this particular rumor to gain any traction, so she did clap back with the best response saying, quote, well, my abs say otherwise, babe. And honestly, Khloe is like very cut. She's looking incredible. Like her abs are popping out. Um, so I don't yeah. really think she's pregnant, but do you think True, you know, could get a new sibling sometime soon i think that that is not out of the question i think it's a very real and big possibility especially since they're trying to make it work they're back together so totally i think it's it's out there i don't think it's now though it's out there might not happen at this very moment but let's see what the tea tribe had to say about this uh dominique myers commented ha 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 i love chloe's clap back lmao and if she ever gets pregnant again in the future that's her choice of course it is um and Lori stewart commented she is so pretty looks like her mama chris i don't see that and it's, people have said that to me to me the one that looks the most is kendall i think kendall looks the most like chris yeah, uh, so i, I never see that. thought that yeah but i agree like she does look great and that clapback comment that's so, so good. funny because she, she could have said a million things but she kept it very light very funny and yeah. also look at how good i look <laughs> Exactly. Drawing attention to those cut abs. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but we will right. see what happens if, she, if True is going to get a sibling anytime soon. But Monsi, you got the number four video for us, right? What do we have? Yes, girl. Coming in at number four is Cardi B, who calls off the divorce. Girl! So many feelings about this divorce from the beginning, but she said, according to Cardi, she took to Twitter to explain that she called up the divorce with Offset. She did mm. post a series of audio clips that have been deleted. We got to say that they've been deleted, but she said that yep. she did this in the first place just to show him a lesson. She wanted to go to the extreme. She filed for a divorce just to teach him a lesson, girl. Offset has spent the last two months trying to win Cardi back, especially going all out for her birthday, if you remember, a billboard, the car, the whole ordeal. Let's oh, yeah. see what the tea trap had to say, though, about this relationship. Tiffany Manning said, during the live, I knew she wouldn't actually divorce him. I thought she was. I was the one that she, that I thought she was done. I was like, she's over like, it. It was a real. cherry on top. Yeah, I really yeah. did think that. And then Stephanie Wilson said, called it a stunt from day one so both of these girls were way more intuitive to the situation than I was because I thought yeah. it was for real <laughs> and there were a lot of comments like that Monsi during the live people kind of were saying yeah I called this I knew it wasn't actually a real thing um but no I know there were some people who also thought like you and, and you were like okay yeah you know what Offset has uh you know had his past and Cardi kind of had enough. I just, exactly. I thought it was just simple. Like the cherry on top, it was the last straw for her and she just wanted out. That's really, I, I didn't dive too right. much into it. 
but these people were obviously right, girl. I don't know, but why don't you keep going with the Cardi Offset and take us to number three? Yes, we have more Cardi Offset news for you guys. The video coming in at number three is when Offset called out Cardi for lying I'm putting this in quotes, lying in her WAP lyrics. So basically he caught her reaction on camera this week. So basically Cardi, you know, raps the lyrics, I don't cook, I don't clean and WAP. But Offset wanted to make it clear that Cardi actually does mean. So he shared this video where he walks in and points the camera at Cardi and starts filming. Then he says she's got to clean, you know, but fans were quick to call Cardi out for how she was sweeping saying it looks like she's just never held a broom before. So Monsi, I personally didn't even notice that. I thought she was holding the broom just fine. But of course, everyone is so quick to judge these days and say something about something and have to call everyone out. Um, but let's see what the tea tribe had to say about this and the way Cardi was holding the broom. Um, yeah, I said that, commented, wait, there's a certain way to hold a broom? Yikes, I felt the same. Um, and Rashonda Hassan commented, if you put your business out there, people are going to say positive or negative things, celebrity or not, people love judging. And uh, I mean, that's, that's the truth, Sad. that is a hundred that's the truth for sure like they're never gonna please everybody people are always gonna find something to say but i think yeah. what people were focused in on is her nails make it hard to probably do anything especially hold a broom so i think that's what was weird about it because i agree with you i didn't think she was holding it weird or anything but yeah, her, yeah. her hand just looked tough because of her nails, because of her claws. So maybe that's why it looked weird. I know, how does she do anything? <laughs> Those insanely long nails, I I could not do that. So yeah, Girl, that might make sense. I would, I would stab myself with those nails. <laughs> Stab. You would see me with a bunch of cuts and then you would be like, do you have cats? No, I have claws, that's. Monsi, lead us with this number two video. Let us know what we got. Coming in at number yes, two. Yes, girl, week. we've got Selena, Selena Gomez. Everybody loves her. We all do. You know, Selenators Always. around the world were very worried about Selena because of her IG Instagram live that she recently posted talking to Timothy Chalamet. You can see she has an IV. And so people were freaking out about it. But it's been mm -hmm. reported and confirmed that we didn't have anything to worry about. It was just a vitamin drip, which a lot of people use to stay healthy. I've never done it, but I hear it's really good for you. And yeah. so, you know, Selena is has always been so open about her health issues in her past. So I understand why people were quick to judge that something bad was happening. Uh, sure. But you could tell like in the in the live, she just was chilling. I didn't even notice yes. the IV until later. Uh, but the right. Tea Tribe did have some stuff to say. Jenny HS commented during the live and said i am so happy that my queen cell is doing well love you angel i love how much people love selena Gomez. love selena don't you yeah. i love her and i love how much love she gets and lady gets, d yeah. joy also commented saying if i see someone with a needle or IV in their arm i'm going to automatically assume health issues or addiction issues depending on what i know of that person's past and she makes a point which is why I think people were so quick to jump on that ship right. that it was something with her health issues, but luckily that's not the case, guys. So no everyone's worry. good. Yeah. But Gabby is gonna kick us off into the number one, but make sure that you guys check out the morning tea every weekday, 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. We have everything on there from you missed it, new music updates. We have Car Jenner Tea Time, obviously. And we have the OMT, which is the hottest entertainment news of the day. So make sure you like, share this video, go hit that like button, do it right now, and subscribe to the Holly Scoop channel. All right, Gabby. What was the number one video? Basically, Travis Scott deleted his IG because he was bullied for his Batman Halloween costume. So Travis's old school 1989 Batman Halloween costume faced some very silly backlash. Fans came for the rapper, you know, commenting on how the costume appears brown in the photos. Some fans called Travis's costume UPS Batman, or even compared him to a cockroach. Um, people were even commenting some racist things, um, which, you know, 
this just this just caused a lot of issues for for no reason really um after these comments travis deleted his instagram and obviously there is no confirmation whether or not this is related to his halloween photos but the connection is there so um you know did travis's costume really deserve that much backlash and hate and do we think he took down his account because of the hate he received so no he should have never received that hate over the costume the costume was legit and even though the color looked off i i don't understand if my ups guy looked like that man lucky me you know what i'm saying but yes, my, let me tell you my great. ups guy does not look like that he's usually in shorts and it's you he's a bald guy so no that's not my ups guy so silly so ridiculous and i also don't think it was connected to it i think it was coincidental that he yeah. received backlash and then decided to delete i'm gonna say deactivate his instagram right got a lot of comments this video around 500 so people had a lot to say about this francis pelagotti commented why would they bully him or how could they bully him for a Halloween costume? That's crazy and he should not care what people have to say about him. People wish they were in his shoes or better yet, his costume. Wilfredo Rodriguez commented, I feel bad for him. They were probably jealous because it looks lit. True. Jack McGuire commented, this is the issue with people. Travis just wanted to show what he likes outside of rap. And in return, he gets trashed by a bunch of his so-called fans. And lastly, Ren commented, yes, yes, he's just a little sensitive. He could have just laughed it off. I'm pretty sure nobody was being serious. So like we said before, Monsi, we don't even think the two are related. Yeah. I don't even know if Travis was being sensitive. I don't really think Travis really cared, nor, nor should he. Yeah. <laughs> Ren's comment is a little bit, I don't think that's fair to say either because we know how mean right. people can be. And sometimes you can just be having a bad day and get like a bad comment and that's it that's all it that's all it mm -hmm. took that day to trigger it differently so i agree exactly. i don't think that's what it is but i don't know if that comment is necessarily right we will see if travis comes back to instagram anytime soon maybe it had to do with something else and new album re release we know he's done that in the past so we will let you guys know obviously about all of that when we have any updates and we want to know your reaction to these moments of the week. Did you agree with the viewers? Did you agree with us? Give us a thumbs up if you did. And keep those opinions coming, you guys. Watch and comment on the morning tea and celeb news bites. And who knows, your comments may be featured in next week's show. We'll break them all down. Um, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the Holly Scoop channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. We will see you guys later. Monsi, happy weekend. Happy weekend, girl. And do all of the things Gabby just said. Go do them.